Okay, so as I was saying uh, last time at night, whenever my phone died while I was recording, um, because of that breather, uh, this right here on top of the oil catch can, a negative vacuum is created by this side. So it's supposed to suck things out of here and go this way. But because of this breather, I think it's just letting all the air out. So let's, I'm gonna just show you, keep recording that. Just listen to the sound. I need to thread the cap fitting, the fitting that basically plugs the breather so that there is no air or liquid leaks. I'm going to have to bite it. Oh, that didn't turn out the way I thought it would. But <laughs> okay, there we go. And now, I'm going to have to take off Let's tighten. This is loosened. Oh, jeez. Okay. <gasps> okay. Is it hot? It is warm. Why do... I forgot to bring the wrench. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I got a wrench, this way. Boom. Hmm, interesting. Was I supposed to focus into that? No, you can just keep looking this way. Because now, we're going to plug it up with this piece. What's that piece? What does that do? This plugs it up. What does this do? That lets it breathe. Is that what was the whistling? Ow. Yeah, because it kept breathing. When where'd you get this piece? It came with it. Somebody's blowing the pedal, pedal whistle. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it whistle now. It better not. Am I done staying here? Do I yeah, step you, back? You can zoom out, yeah. anymore so challengers can't use a breather as simple as that oh wow that negative vacuum is fucking crazy look at this shit gone it's 
looking so hard. Like feel it. Like it. Feel it. Like hold this dipstick and let go. <laughs> it's a vacuum. Wait, it's the way it idles is different too. It's really weird. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hold. Ow! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Just leave it right there. And then when I tell you, lift it up. Let me see if that's actually affecting its RPM. Okay, lift it up. Lift it up! Oh yeah, it is. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Don't put it in, don't put it in. Okay, hold it there, hold it there. Just let it go. Okay, take it out. Put it back in. Okay, put it back out. It's definitely more aggressive without it being in there. I'm assuming this little, I'm assuming the exhaust manifold it's sucking, oh holy shit. It's sucking more air. Like a tremendous amount through here, but it's sucking in warm air through here. So. It's a very interesting interaction. Like, never thought something like that would be happening because of a cold air intake. I mean, the like oil catch can, holy moly. If that is true, that means that if you changed your cold air intake and it could suck in more air, it would idle at higher RPMs and sound more aggressive. But because it's idling at higher RPMs, it would be also using more fuel. So to each is their own and do as you please. But for practicality-wise and for the longevity of the engine, this breather is a no-go for uh, oil catch can for the variable valve timing engine. I'm assuming it's the same way for the 370Zs and the 350Zs. I've seen the way they set up their coil, uh, cold air catch cans. It's like, it's like pretty much the same. Like they go like this, like from here to there. And then from there to there. Because on the Challenger, it has the same thing. Like, here's the pipe for the other one. And I'm going to have to get that one uh, placed in as well. So. That's pretty much it.